Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. I'm a bit late today uploading while doing this, making this video, um, but I've had a busy one. Um, I want to showcase um, a really lovely deck and give a shout out to my friend Maria um, from Studio Artemy. Um, Maria um, has created the most incredible deck. She's an astrologist and she has also designed the tarot, which is the Fortuna tarot deck. Um, this deck is available in this colour, um, which is like an amethyst, this one's called. And there's also a green one, which is the emerald version. And there's also a new one running on Kickstarter right now. Um, but I'll link all the details in the video after I've done this. Maria actually sent me this deck as a gift last year. Um, I think it was around my birthday. Um, she's a lovely person, um, very approachable and... She makes the the most amazing things and she's also a phenomenal astrologist as well. Um, so I obviously of course had the purple one because purple being my favourite colour. Um, and this is a deck that I really will treasure because it was gifted to me. Um, and it's one that I don't use as often as I should. Um, no particular reason um, at all. It's just that it just gets a little overlooked and I'm going to be solving that this week. So what you get in the box, so you get a two part lovely uh, box. This says Fortuna Tarot Deck Amethyst Aura. And on the back it says the Fortuna Tarot Deck is a 79 card deck designed to help you unlock your potential and turn your purpose into gold. Combining ancient alchemical principles, tarot numerology and astrology, you will embark on a new journey which within toward clarity and enlightenment, opening the gates of the occult and spirituality created by Maria J. Fayado Preina. Um, and then it's studioartomy.com at Studio Artemy, which you can find Maria over on Instagram. So this isn't just a general run-of-the-mill generic deck. There has been a lot of work put into this uh, deck um, and it's incredible because Maria being in an astrologist that she's incorporated astrology in the deck as well um, and numerology and it's absolutely brilliant. She gives uh, Crowley a mention as well. Um, because it says both tarot and astrology are languages of the universe i learned tarot through the lens of astrology and i hope that with this work others can understand how both complement each other everything in life can be understood through numbers and so numerology is the major element that helps to unify and combine the relationship between tarot and astrology the thoth tarot created by alistair crowley is one of the world's widely known tarot decks that include the combination of both systems that have been studied over centuries and then astrology is a much older system than tarot and therefore tarot has been attributed meanings that come from astrology as well as other divination systems such as cartomancy, geomancy and numerology. Often people tend to be intimidated by the depths of astrology because it's a vast language. Yet once you understand the similarities between tarot and astrology, the overwhelming feeling will dissipate. So it is absolutely brill. Um, there's so much information to take in in the deck, um, but it's really simple to apply once you get the hang of it. Um, Maria is simplified, so you know you haven't got to be um, scholarly in astrology. Um, it's really really easy to understand. So first of all, she's got the um, the sun signs, and then the the deacon, then the date, then the card, which relates obviously the tarot card, which relates to that sun sign. And then you've got spiritual alchemy and all sorts of information in the book. Um, there is a little quote on each page of the minor, uh, major. And then you've got like keywords and then Maria's kind of like meaning. And then you've got the astrological influence, which is uranus and then you obviously go up to and the magnus opus card is the extra card in the deck by the way that's all about magic transmutation and um, that's got all the elements fire water earth and air in it and so like you've got the suit of candles is ones um so which is easy because candles obviously relate to fire and then you have after that 
the suit of elixirs, uh, which is cups. So that's candles and elixirs. Then we have keys, which is swords. And then we have talismans, which is pentacles. So this is really one of those guidebooks that adds so much more meaning to the deck. Um, most guidebooks these days, you can toss them aside because it's all the ger generic Rider Waite Smith meanings and they are absolutely rubbish. Um, so, you know, this one doesn't, it adds so much more to the experience of the cards. Well, let me show you the cards. They are incredibly beautiful. Um, this is the Amethyst Dora version, so it's got all the purple matte edging all the way around it. The cardstock quality is amazing. Um, it's like, I think it must be 400 um, from what I can gather. Well, whatever that means anyway. Um, as you know, I'm not a cardstock snob, um, but this is like really, really durable cardstock. Um, the backs are holographic as well. Um, as you can see, because I've purposely, um, you know, directed the light so you can see the holographic um, emblems on the back of the cards. So every card um, is a holographic card. So you've also got the planetary symbols on the top as well of each card. The Seven of Candles, it's a pippish deck, um, but please don't let that put you off. I mean, I adore it because I'm a Tarot de Marseille reader anyway. Um, so you've got the planetary symbols in the top there. So that is the Seven of Candles, which relates to the Seven of Wands. Let us see, shall we, what Maria says in the book about the Seven of Candles. Just to show you guys what kind of system um, it follows. So she has got the Lord of Valor, um, which follows Hermeticism. And you've got Protection, Perseverance, Vulnerability, Overwhelm. The Seven of Candles is traditionally depicted as a man on top of a hill armed with a wand fighting against six other people. This card represents protection and preservation. It is a sign to fight up for our values and stand up for our beliefs. The Seven of Wands is ruled by the third deacon of Leo, which is related to Mars in Leo. The willpower and rage contained in Mars is expressed through the beaming light of the Son of Leo, meaning that when we stand out against the crowd, our actions become more visible to others and that can generate conflict because of jealousy or criticism. And obviously the little numerological meaning there. And then the reverse meaning is the card. So as you can see, it's super, super easy to read. I just love the, the, the whole aesthetics of the deck as well. Um, your king of keys, you know, it looks like, you know, you need that key to actually open those gates there. The devil... And see what Maria's done. She it's basically a mirror. Um, so that is really, really powerful card. Um, King of Talismans, the Queen. As you know, sometimes I like less is more. Um, and this deck is definitely one of those um where the mi minimalistic approach to the art style really, really works. Um. It's just such a lovely, lovely deck. Um, and I respect Maria as a creator for putting so much hard work into all of her decks. So this is just like, I just wanted to show you this quickly because I have got another two to go through. Also um, decks created by Maria as well. So there you've got like the, you know, the majors, the strength, princess of elixirs just such a gorgeous gorgeous deck and if you're learning astrology or like to use astrological symbols um in your decks um this is a perfect deck for you without delving into the thoth or without delving delving into the emetic tarot by godfrey dawson so you can see how beautiful it is um and it's not just aesthetically beautiful um you can actually got, get some really, really good readings from it as well. So, um, I don't want to say that, you know, you can get some good readings from it because isn't that about the reader and not the cards? Um, so I'll, I'll actually like erase that little bit that I've just said. Um, <laughs> oh dear, Sunday afternoon. Okay, so instead of the Hierophant, we've got the Oracle, uh, which works perfectly well. 
seeker is the fool and there you go guys um that is a very 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 quick flip through of the fortuna tarot deck um which is available now um because i want to quickly show you what other work maria has got um being a main craft is an astrologer so the second deck i have got um is the ethereal orbs oracle deck and this is the journey of healing the soul through the mansions of the moon and the fixed stars. These 44 oracle cards are designed to guide you through the process of healing the soul using poetry and positive affirmations. As the moon teaches us, it is necessary to let go in order to become full once again. So you get 44 cards and also when you buy these from Maria's um, website, you also get a PDF guidebook which is full of information um which adds to the meaning of the cards you can just use the cards as is um because they've got like shadow work and awakening they've got the keyword there and a little kind of um poem stanza that the night will come and she will hold you hold your fear it is the darkness when the moon it is in the darkness when the moon blazes so you can, you know, all of these are like different mansions of the moon. They, they, these are two also holographic cards as well. And I love these. I bought these. These are really special because I bought these when I was actually um, in London with Levi of Masculine Intuition Readings last year. And Watkins had just started to stock Maria's deck. And so I was super excited. So I messaged Maria straight away and I said, oh, look what I found, your deck, your deck. And it was like a really lovely moment. Um, so yeah, you've get all these, and obviously the guidebook that you get with it um, explains the sim the symbols um, a lot better. Um, because I'm not well versed in astrology anyway, so I do actually need a guidebook. So as you can see, you've got divine source and love, poison and medicine, and so you can just use these basically as an oracle deck as well. So like basically, what message do I want to hear today? What message do I need to hear today? Um, this is personally for myself. Um, I haven't pulled a card today. So my message for today is confidence and acceptance. So confidence is earned by looking at yourself without any filter, without judgment. How cool is that? So you've got a little affirmation for the day if you want to use that. And you can also delve into what confidence and acceptance mean to yourself as well. And then Capella in the guidebook gives more meaning to the card. And you've also got the astrological symbols as well on the top of the card if you can see so that is the second deck um by maria and the third and final deck um is fab this is great if you're learning astrology um first of all i'll be honest um it kind of like threw me off and i thought what am i supposed to do with this um because <laughs> I had no idea and about anything, that, you know, sun signs, yeah, maybe, uh, rising signs, kind of, and then I'm lost after that. And so, yeah, this is fab. Um, it's been around for a while, I think. When was this published? 2019, so two years, three years now. And this is the Astro Soul Oracle deck. And this is a 62 astrological cards deck in this one. So this is also beautiful as well there's like a gold star on the back on gorgeous gorgeous cardstock navy blue and on the front all you get is conjunction unity autonomy individuation inner self self motivation self motivation even concentration and personal interest then you get the sun signs obviously these are not in order and Gemini, obviously, and then the houses. So you get the planets, the signs, and the houses. And then also, um, you get, there's me, the different placements. Uh, I think that's what I'm saying right. And then the moon phases, which is absolutely lovely. So you get all the moon phases. So how do you work with the deck? Right, okay. I had to do a bit of digging around with this and my friend over on Instagram, Ben, and also another friend of mine actually pointed me in the right direction and said, 
You can use it like as a personal horoscope, so obviously that takes some delving. But you can also use it as a normal oracle deck as well, um, which is fab because the guidebook that comes with it is really, really extensive. Um, as you can see, it's a similar kind of guidebook to the tarot one, um, kind of laid out the same. So in the beginning, you've got like the table of content and then Maria, a little story about astrology. And then the degrees, the cardinal signs, everything like that. And then you've got the sun signs. And it also says like Aries, obviously, element is fire, ruling planet Mars, modality, body rulership, the face, head and physical. And then obviously like the description. And then all sorts of astrological nuggets of wisdom in this little book. Um, so I absolutely adore it. Um, I've been playing around with it now um, since I've had it and it's fab, um, it really is. And not also, um, when you kind of like, what's really good and about these kind of decks, the astrological decks, um, is you're actually learning astrology as you go. Um, so that's a good thing as well because subconsciously you're absorbing all the information when you're looking in the book as well, you know, you're thinking, Oh, yeah, but like, what does that mean? And then when you see it somewhere else, you know what it means because you've already drawn the card anyway. So it's absolutely a fascinating tool to um, learn astrology with. I think um, Ricardo over at Asteroid Boy Tarot, I think I said, or did, did he tell me? I can't remember that this was his first astrology deck. Um, so the, um, uh, uh, Ricardo's got lots of astrology decks. Um, and he's always showing showing them off and uh, you know so if you want to find out a little bit about astrology and the decks uh check out levi um, levi sorry ricardo check out <laughs> ricardo at, over at astro boy ricardo so that kind of wraps it up today it's a short one um but you know i hope you got some uh idea you know of what you can uh expect when you invest your money into maria's work i love it i really do love it and obviously all three work together seamlessly um or standalone as well so thank you so much for tuning in all your support and your subscribing um i've really enjoyed doing this one today because like um i don't normally review astrology decks because it is a little bit out of my comfort zone but thanks guys for watching and these are the decks available from Maria over at Studio Artemy. She's got a Kickstarter running right now. If you check out her Instagram feed, Studio Artemy, you'll find out more. Have a lovely day guys. Bye.